A protected marine nature reserve, the Kandao Islands, of which Kansun is the largest and where you are likely to be staying can be difficult to get to, with irregular flights from Ho Chi Minh City or an overnight ferry from Vuang Tao. But my goodness, it's worth it. I must confess, the highlight of any traveling around Vietnam for me is usually the food, yet the lack of any real eating options outside of the main hotels didn't still manage to disappoint, as the scenery around Con Dao is so spectacular you'll want to stay forever. I think of all the places I visited in Vietnam Con Dao was possibly one of the most beautiful I've seen. The islands of Con Dao have a tragic history, they lay completely unoccupied until the French occupied Vietnam and used the island as one large prison complex, where prisoners were shackled, starved and beaten, forced into hard labor and subjected to some particularly cruel and unusual punishment. Sadly when the Americans arrived to save Vietnam from communism they kept the prisons running and made good use of one of the most barbaric elements, the tiger cages. Even once their horrific nature had been exposed in the US media, they simply built another set deeper in the jungle so the journalists wouldn't find them. Today the prisons serve as a stark reminder of the horrors of war, and many of the island's residents are ex-convicts who decided to stay on the islands rather than return to the mainland. These days the main industries are fishing and shipping, and life on the island is very simple and undeveloped though there are plans to encourage more tourism to the islands in the future. The entire area is protected by law, so much of the islands are covered by thick forest. A visit to the rangers station will explain a great deal about the wildlife living on the island, and they are very happy to arrange tours around the jungle or out to the other islands, to see endangered species and to go snorkeling and diving. There are also a number of diving schools on the island particularly rainbow divers. On our visit we hired a motorbike to explore the roads around the island, and went for hikes through the forest and swam on completely deserted beaches, as well as visiting the prisons and museums. It was a true escape from Saigon, a complete contrast to the concrete, traffic and noise, and one we'll remember forever. One of the key organizations protecting the local habitat in Con Dao, as well as in many other national parks across Vietnam, is WWF. If you'd like to help support conservation efforts in Vietnam and preservation of the many endangered species there, we strongly suggest becoming a member. It doesn't cost a lot and while in Vietnam you can see for yourself the difference they are making. Getting to Con Dao if you want to go by boat there is a hydrofoil service from Vuang Tao to Con Dao twice a week at 350,000 VND each way and also one departing from Travin in the Mekong Delta which is run by Green Lines. The fares and timetable are no longer advertised on the Vietnamese language version of their website though, so it is worth checking before making the trip to Vuang Tao. Flights are run by Vietnam Air Services but are bookable online. An alternative may be to book online with Vietnam Air who are currently advertising an all-inclusive two-day tour to the island including flights which departs from Ho Chi Minh City. One of the stellar attractions in this region, the Con Dao Archipelago is slowly gaining attention for its startling natural beauty. Con Sun, the largest of this chain of 15 islands and islets, is ringed with lovely beaches, coral reefs and scenic bays, and remains partially covered in thick forests. In addition to hiking, diving and exploring empty coastal roads and deserted beaches, there are some excellent wildlife watching opportunities. Khan Sun Island, with a total land area of 20 square km, is also known by its Europeanized Malay name, Isles Pulau Kondore, Pulau Kondor, which means Island of the Squashes. Although it seems something of an island paradise, Khan Sun was once hell on earth for the thousands of prisoners who languished in confinement during the French and American regimes. Roughly 80% of the land area in the island chain is part of Khan Dao National Park 
which protects Vietnam's most important sea turtle nesting grounds. For the last decade, the World Wildlife Foundation, WWF, has been working with local park rangers on a long-term monitoring program. During nesting season, May to September, the park sets up ranger stations to rescue threatened nests and move them to the safe haven of hatcheries. Other interesting sea life around Kandao includes the dugong, a rare and seldom seen marine mammal in the same family as the manatee. Dugongs live as far north as Japan, and as far south as the subtropical coasts of Australia. Their numbers have been on a steady decline. Kandao is an outpost group of 16 islands and islets in the southeast of Vietnam 97 nautical miles from Bung Tau and 45 nautical miles from the river Haiyu. It is on the same longitude as Ho Chi Minh City 10636 east and on the same latitude as Ka Maui Province 836 north in Vietnamese history books. The biggest island of the group is named Khan Lan. The name however also refers to all the islets in the group. The name Kandao currently used is an abbreviated form of Kanlan Island 1. 60 roofless compartments derogatorily referred to as sunbathing compartments divided into four rows 15 compartments. Each of these are places where prisoners were exposed to the sunshine or to the rain or were physically tortured in the end of year 1970. There's a supported regime had to order the tiger enclosures cleared and they consumed them into rabbit breeding booths to relieve the protest by prisoners and objection from patriotic movement in South Vietnam as well as international opinion under the late regime, it was called Camp Ernanchuang Bo Bovine Enclosure of Security. A Nexus 69M unoccupied space 38,861M This camp comprises 20 detention rooms and 8 punishment cells divided into Lot A and Lot B Each boasts 10 detention rooms and 4 cells In addition, there is a kitchen, a mess hall and a warden's room Camp 7 also called Camp Fu B-I-N-H or a styled tiger ankle sewers cage A tiger sci america a nasty eyed tiger enclosures built in 1971 Total area 25,760 M of which the area of detention rooms and cells 2,562 M annexes 637 M houses 173 M unoccupied space 22,369 M this camp comprises 384 solitary cells divided into four areas A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H each area boasts two rows of cells 48 cells each this is a concrete built prison and detention rooms there are no platforms for inmates to lie on prisoners had to sleep on the dank concrete floors.